Hi, welcome. I'm ready to start. Are you ready to start? Now, first thing first, what I want you to do is I'm going to share with you a lot of information today. The information that I'm going to share with you probably will be too much just sitting, sitting down there and just listening to me. Let's get connected. The info that I'm giving you, if you have a piece of paper over there with a pen, just jot down what makes sense, little piece of information you thought would be good to have on a piece of paper that you could look at and refresh yourself later on. So are you ready? Now, the key ingredient in this program is an open mind. That's what we want to do. We want to open your mind towards possibilities. And what's that possibility? That you can quit smoking right now. So the first thing that I want you to understand is all your previous attempt to quit smoking was good. It was not wasted. Probably you will be saying, how can it be? I only stopped smoking for a few hours, a few months, a few years. That's okay. At least you have trained your mind to know what's it like to be without a cigarette. Now the second thing that I want you to understand, this is very, very important. Along the program, like any other program, you'll experience some pain. You'll feel like, gosh, this is too much for me. I just want to switch off this DVD and just carry on smoking. I urge you, don't. This program has been tested with many smokers and the method works. And I want this program to work with you to achieve your quit. So what I hope you will do is stick on. Remember, in the audio CD, we talked about freedom. Freedom is the strength of character to do the right thing. And the right thing here is to keep at it. It's not over to you win. So, when the pain comes by, it's a good thing because it's a learning process. Another thing, I want you to take your hand and tap it on your back and say, there's no failure of a human being. There's only failure of results and a momentary state. You see, you don't fail every time when you smoke. What you do is you smoke only at certain moments when you just become less critical about it. If you knew it was poison, you won't smoke. So the key thing here is there's no failure of a human being. There's only failure of results. So don't beat yourself. Don't feel disappointed. But keep at it. Do you agree? If you quit smoking, good things happen to you. Probably save a lot of money. You probably feel food is not tastier. Your breathing becomes better. But what is most important of all, you have taught yourself how to follow instructions and get out of the door to freedom. And I want you to follow instructions. In every, we follow a very simple step here. Two reasons why most programs will fail is because you fail to follow instructions and you fail to understand. And when you fail to understand, you fail to do the step-by-step -step process to get the accurate results. So please, do not try to do your style. Do not try to shortcut the process. Do not try to, to improvise the process. Just follow it. Great? Good. Now, in many programs, we are taught about setting a quit date, putting up some pledges, writing down all the reasons when you can position yourself to quit. But in this program, I'm going to tell you one rule, 
set no expectation. You sit there not expecting anything and then something will happen. We are going through a natural way of quitting smoking. That's the objective of the cigarette slayer. We are getting you to become the cigarette slayer and we are teaching you the science to quit smoking the natural way, the non-drug method, the non-pep talk method, just getting you to change your mindset to another focus. So I urge you, set no expectation. Don't go about and saying, Oh, I, I've been going for the last 20 minutes and I'm not getting anything. If you've been doing that, you've been setting expectations. Just listen to me carefully, follow the instructions carefully, and you'll surprise yourself with the results. Good? This is very, very important. This program is not a funeral service. It's a liberating service. And you need to set the fun high. There are got to be big smiles in your face. You've got to get into the mood, excitement. Can you imagine if you had a runner, an Olympic runner, and he ran the race with no enthusiasm, just running it for the sake of doing it. Can you imagine, would he win? In any game or sport, you've got to have passion. You got to have high desire and you just want to win. And that's what we are here today. We are here in a program with one objective to win. And who's the winner? The winner is you. <laughs>